some real nuts on the back there. Yeah, here they are. No, hey, look, it's spelling it out for us, isn't it? Do you think? <laughs> I think the only thing that's going in here, mate, is quad bikes and Swampy. Maybe. And even Swampy's bogged there at the moment. You haven't got it yeah, out yet. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I did drive off the track. Red has told us. Don't drive off the track. Don't drive off the track. We've got to get in, mate. There's, there's not, we're just, we're going in. We're just not taking this gear in. Definitely not. That's what we built it for. Yep. Let's do it. Swampy in the quads is the only way to get to the station. Let's use them. There's nothing. Swampy ready to go. It's time to unload Simon's quad bike. And with a break in the weather comes the call. The convoy is ready to roll out. So we head off, we get the buggies and, and the um, off-road vehicles and away we go, around the corner. First puddle. Usually you come across puddles and stuff and you get things out of the way, you don't want to run over it. Maybe a little turtle or a frog or something. But no, we come across a crocodile in the first puddle. Seriously? You know you're in the top end and it's the middle of the wet season when you're driving down the road or the track, whatever you want to call it, and the first thing you see, a bit of wildlife, is a croc. Got no chance. We get bitten for sure. Well, Simon being Simon, if he sees a croc, he's got to catch it. <laughs> and sure enough, he did. <laughs> By the time I got there, he's wrestling this croc. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> got him? Yeah, got him. He took some hanging on, did a little bike. Oh, and we got him up, that. and all good. <laughs> little croc. So when we get bogged and we're swimming through the water, <laughs> these things will be lurking. Oh, do you think? Well, the big crocs go way up in the wet season, don't oh, yeah. they? Yeah. This is a little freshy. I think we've got to be really wary of it. We don't want you to be roadkill, buddy. Come on. <laughs> go. So as we start to head down the track, it's wet, it's getting wetter, it's wetter, and then next thing you know, it starts to rain, like we need more rain on the, on the track. Rhett was very concerned about the swampy. He was concerned that it wasn't gonna, you know, he, he was concerned it was gonna get bogged instantly. Swampy's doing amazing. Uh, we've only just started getting into it, but so far it's impressing me a lot. It still needs to stay on the track, but he's not needing his momentum and he's doing really well. I like it. I'm on the high ground, on the high ground. So the depth of the water on the quad bikes is a serious issue. Um, any, any more rain on that track and the quad bikes, they just won't get through that depth of water. You knew it wasn't gonna get any better. It wasn't, the sun wasn't coming out. You know, we've, we've got to burn kilometres. We've got to get the Ks over. And the further we head down this track, the more water we're coming up against. A bit deep, mate. That's all good. Yep. Ever since the concept of Swampy, you know, having having a vehicle that could move, go where most four-wheel drives couldn't go. Ever since that, I've wanted to test it and test it to its point. And one of those tests was how it went in water, how it went in the mud. And so far, it is proving to be the machine to do the job. It's starting to grow on me, that car. Is it? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I told you it was the car for the job. It's doing some good stuff. It's a good truck, eh? 
another thought. Yeah. With this weather moving moving in like this, if it is a cyclone moving in and the rain yeah. coming continually, we've still got to get across the river yet and it's going to just keep coming up. And if we don't, we're stuck in this side for another week or so until it goes back down again. Oh, heck. So we we got to push hard. We, we've got another 10 or 10 to go. We better get going. Get All right, yeah. keep going. Over the years, I've got to know the weather really well out in this country. And one thing that I have found is you don't want the weather to change on you, have a lot of rain come in and be stuck between two creeks, can't go forward, can't go backward, and run out of food and just be stuck there. And all of a sudden, this has become our problem. It's now become a race against the clock to get over the river before it rises deeper than they can handle. Simon's in front, Rhett and the boys are in front. So every time I come around the corner and they're stopped, the reason why they're stopped is because there's an obstacle in front of them. Come around the corner and sure enough, there's a massive obstacle. This big, basically, it's just a big swamp. The track goes through the middle of it. We've got to check the depth of the water. What do we got here? This one here, Jason. I reckon you'll be able to get through that way and you should stick to the track, but I think it's too deep for the quads and we did have an old bypass track where they might be able to get around the swamp and hopefully it's firm enough for the quads. Uh, but okay. it's gonna be fairly deep, but it should be firm on the bottom. Firm on the bottom but deep. I think we need to check the depth. What do you I reckon I think we should go is? for a walk. We rock up and we knew the depth of the water was deep. So it had to be tested. And when you start waltzing out, like I said, we're in the top end, you start waltzing out into that water, yeah, it's a little bit, you're getting a bit worried there, you don't know. <laughs> ah, safety in numbers, they say. Any crocs in this swamp? So we're still looking over our shoulder. I got my little pocket knife out. Come prepared. Oh, he's got a knife. It's a joke, really. <laughs> so we, we wade out into the water, and obviously there's crocodiles in the water out here. We found one in a puddle, for crying out loud. So in the swamp, it could quite possibly be big, be big saltwater crocodiles. But we checked the depth, she's about waist deep. Quad bikes, no way are they gonna make it. So we hatch a plan. And the plan's gonna be, we'll send Swampy through because it can handle that depth of water, no problem. As long as the ground underneath is firm. The quad bikes, on the other hand, they can bash a track around the swamp. And old Swampy, it's gotta charge the water. Going. Coming in. I start sort of rolling into the water and I'm thinking, yeah, look, this is fine, but I'm worried about the middle bit. You know, is, is the ground soft? The second you start to lose traction or, or we get bogged, then the water will start pouring into the car and it'll be all over. So I, I'm thinking, keep on the gas, keep on the gas, just, just push it hard, push it through, you'll get through. Pumps are on. So standing on the other side, watching Jace bring the, the swampy across, all you can see is the cab and this big bow wave in front. It's like a little monster coming through the through the water there with a big bow wave in front of it. It's pretty cool. Come on, baby, come on, come on, baby, come on. It's all right, no, water's not coming in yet. I don't think I'm at water height. Come on, baby. Yeah! <laughs> And Swampy just ate that stuff for breakfast. Wrapped. Yeah! How was that? Swampy lives up to its name now. <laughs> it's definitely Swampy. Swampy, I want one. Actually, no, I need one. And I'm going to get my son to build one, I think. I'm happy. It, it did what it was supposed to do. This rain ain't letting off, is it? It's getting heavier. It is, isn't it? We might have to move on because that next creek's going to be moving up. And All right. We need to keep tracking then. All right, let's go. Let's go. 